Ladies and gentlemen, what do we have here? We have the Glenn's Retro Show, aka GRS, Viper Board. Thank you, Glenn, for sending this to me. Uh, I know you sent it to a few other people's also, but I am doing this little video to show it off a little bit here. So this is what the board looks like. Uh, this little black wire coming off it is a Wi-Fi adapter. Um, and I believe Glenn said that this is the RAM. Um, that can be replaced or upgraded, according to him. And the notes, sorry, I'm trying to get that out without ripping it out. All right, so we have the Viper board here. Um, we have a barrel jack up the top here, which could be for power. And then we have three USB ports. We have a USB-C, and then we have the micro HDMI, and I believe a speaker jack. If I could be stand corrected, if that's not a speaker jack. Um, and then we have his instructions. So I don't have a mini HDMI um, right now. I will pick one up from Best Buy or Target tomorrow. Um, and I'll come back with another video, obviously, too. Uh, I'm going to work on an image for this. Um, so is a few other people. Um, but I'm going to work on porting over my 256 Batasera, and I'm going to work on porting over my light gun also. So we got the GRS Viper. Uh, this is what it looks like. We got the GRS Viper. It's currently running Batasera 37 Linux uh, 5.10.160. The Sinden, the GRS Sinden light guns are natively supported. GRS spinners, trackballs, flight stick, and yoke. GRS Ikari Warriors all are supported. Power can be 5 volts. 4 amp barrel jack, which was that little jack at the top over here, or USB type C to PSU. Specs we have an RK3566 1.8 gigahertz, four cores, one megabytes of RAM, 2x USB 2.0, 1x USB 3.0, and then we have a 1x USB C power 5 volt for a host, which we could also power from that, I believe. And then we have one micro SD card slot, one five volt barrel jack for power, 3.5 millimeter audio or HDMI audio, uh, removable upgradable CPU RAM daughter card, Wi-Fi external antenna, uh, mini HDMI port, one DSI display connector, um, and 40 GP IO pin. Second page. Looks like schematics and breakdown here. The key GPIO mapping is what he has here, which is fantastic. Um, in case you are going to manually wire this in. And yeah, so we will come back with another video uh, once I get the micro HDMI. And then we get this all set up uh, and plugged in and turned on and start rolling on making an image for this thing. So thank you guys for watching.